All right. We're in the uh, last round here, and we can keep this. Not really motivated to bust Chrome Mox uh, super fast. Hmm. Oh, okay. Diagraph goal. All right. So some sort of black beatdown. Could be. Eternal Witness. To get back to Strip Mine, that makes sense. I kind of don't want to ditch Primus. I can strip mine now, get rid of the swamp, next turn, find something ideally to chrome mox, play tri-builder, potential for, and then that sets me up for e-witness strip mine again, yeah, I like that, let's do that. May have to ditch the primus, but we'll see what we draw. Not the best plan against Black Beatdown, but. Not the worst plan either. Keeping him off land still seems good. All right, he's definitely Black Beatdown, which makes land destruction worse, but. We're still okay. All right, I think I ditch. Primus. Could ditch the Fauna Shaman, but it seems hard to believe we'd get Woodfall Primus in range anytime soon, and I can play Fauna Shaman to at least block, so all right. Let's get out the Tribe Elder here, and we're just going to block and sack the Tribe Elder to to play E-Witness to nuke a land next turn. I already know some sideboard cards we can bring in, too, which is nice. And the one-drops continue, but I can do nothing. It's okay. Uh, ooh, well, that's a good draw. Let's do E-Witness. Let's get back the... Strip Mine... And I think we're still nuking black sources, but I guess I'm not sure. He can activate Mishra's Factory, potentially get in for eight if he has another black source, but I can trade with a Diagraph Ghoul. Guess I want to get rid of the Factory, but... Hmm. All right, let's get rid of the factory. Let's go damage reduction. I can find Drag Tusk off Primal Command too, which is pretty good. So let's get rid of his zombie. All right, no plays. Finally, got him off plays. That's good. Elves of Deep Shadows plus Fauna Shaman seems good. More blockers. We've got the Primal Command to find the Thrag Tusk, which I would hope is the nail in the coffin, but I guess I don't know yet. Um, do I want to trade both these off? I'm not opposed to it. I think I just uh, 
trade here. He doesn't have a zombie to bring it back, so we'll do that. Fauna Shaman could still be good for us. We can also put the land on top of his deck. Reanimate Dire gra Oh, my E-Witness to get back. Hmm. That's pretty good, I guess. Well, we're still on the fine Thrag Tusk plan, so that's okay. I guess we just gain seven, and then... Why didn't he play it? Wait, what did he get back? No, I've... I didn't even look. I just assumed he got a... Uh, who am I in a game with? Why does it have my previous game stuff up? I still don't get that. Oh, he just got a swamp. Okay, well, that makes sense. Let's uh, Primal Command. Gain 7. Search for Thrag Tusk. I think. Guess I don't have to find Drag Tusk. What else would I want to find? Deranged Hermit seems pretty good against him. Drag Tusk, I guess, does seem the best, though. Just life gain, bodies. We'll do the Thrag Tusk. May have to take four next turn, but it's okay. It's got just a grip full of cards, too. I'm going to take four here because I'm gaining five next turn, and I still want to keep Fauna Shaman around because she's going to be able to start finding some magical stuff here soon. So I guess he's just going oh, short fang. All right, I can live with that. Shieldred. Well, that's a bit of an issue. It's okay. So we play Thrag Tusk. Guess we're going to... I can't uh, can't play my land because then he can make me ditch Shieldred. So I think I just attack into that now. All right. He's still taking damage from Lacerator, which is kind of nice. And Thragtus is going to be able to do some work. He can't easily kill it. No attacks. So he's just on the discard plan. Can get rid of our forest. I'm trying to think what we're digging up if I ditch my shieldred. Well, now I don't have to ditch shieldred. That's good. I can find Deranged Hermit now. I think that's probably the best. So, I have to pay a green to ditch Mystic, find Hermit, play Hermit. Let's swing with Thrag Tusk. All right. So he's on the discard plan. I can't play land go because he'll end of turn do it and then do it again. 
So it definitely makes more sense to do the ability now, discard Mystic, get Deranged Hermit, play land, play Deranged Hermit, and pass. And then this thing will flip and deal some damage to us or whatever, but still think we're in pretty good shape. So he's going to make us lose the shield rid. Now we're just like a reoccurring nightmare away from some magic happening. So dude gets to flip, but it's just a 3-3 that makes us lose some life, but we're still pretty far ahead on this board, I would say. I don't know why it puts it up there either. It's weird. We're definitely going to pay the Echo, because then we just got lethal. All right. So we're playing against Mono Black Beats. Looks really solid. Looks really solid. Um, Abrupt K, I think, should come in. Garrick seems good. Beast Within, surprisingly, seems good, since I can play it defensively. But I guess I have to lose a permanent for that. Mind Twist doesn't seem all that good, but it's a powerful spell in general, especially with Ramp. The Land Destruction Plan worked that time around, but it's still... It's not ideal. Acidic Slime feels like it's going to be less useful in this match. Unless he has swords and stuff, but... It seems like an overpriced 2-2. Yes, it pops a land, but... I'm not feeling it. He's got reanimate, which makes life from the loam dredging a bit worse. Tendrils just for a little bit of life gain. No, it doesn't seem that good. Polycranos, I kind of want to get in here. That's a big dude. It just eats his guys. Probably has. I imagine he's got spot removal. I can't really do dismember because life loss is like, it's just too much. Too much life loss. I might ditch the life from the loam and just do crucible. Although the life from the loam with the recurring nightmare is really nice. That's tough. How good is mind twist when your opponent's just spitting their hand out? It's probably not as good on the draw. Let's take out mind twist on the draw. As good as mind twist is... I don't like it that much in this matchup. He seems like he gets rid of his hand real fast. Um, Jite's insane in this matchup. How can I fit Paul Kranos in here? I actually really do want to. Maybe I ditch the Solemn, but Solemn's good too. Maybe I do ditch the Life from the Loam. As good as Life from the Loam is, I think focusing on just good mid-rangey creatures that can block his stuff, life gain, combo-y stuff like... Pattern of Rebirth blocking. Gta Abrupt Decay for spot removal if I need it. Life gain, life gain. Crater Hoof seems ambitious. Because it's so expensive. And I feel like I win in other ways. Maybe we ditch the Crater Hoof. Because these all, I mean, these are all way better. Especially this guy against him. Um, so, oh, I'm running out of time. Damn it. All right, let's bring the life from the loan back. I changed my mind. I like it with recurring a nightmare enough, combo-wise, and strip mine, of course. But, well, there you go. Very good. We'll keep it. Opponent mauls. Goes to five. Keeps it five. So we get to go elves. Into could just strip mine and then do elves, but I guess it makes more sense to do elves and then strip mine next turn. But then again, he mulls up. He's got three cards left in his hand. If I strip mine now, there's a good chance he does not have a follow up play. Let's go for the let's go for the strip mine now. A bit ambitious, but it's it's totally based on my opponent having three cards left in his hand, like. I'm just banking on him not having another Swamp and another 1-drop. 
which he could easily have, but we'll, we'll see. I feel like because he operates on one land, though. All right, he did, in fact, have a good follow-up play. Man, all right, it's pretty ideal for him. No cards left in his hand. It's pretty ideal for him, though, like I said. All right, I guess we got to do elves. I can't even block anything, but next turn I can... Next turn I can... E-Witness getting back, Strip Mine, can also secure a Tribe Elder. Alright, well, land is the best thing we could have gotten from him, or had him get, I guess. So now I gotta drop, I can drop E-Witness for a trade, I can drop, I guess I can't drop E-Witness. So I guess we gotta do secure a Tribe Elder, could also do Fauna Shaman, but we can get Polycranos next turn. Uh, I guess I'm block, block. Let me think about this. Okay. I play Sakura Tribe Elder. He attacks with everything. I take four, go to eight. I get to follow up with Polycranos. This is tapped. I'm just a Polycranos. He has three creatures. We're at seven. We're going to take another four, but then I can follow up with a Primal Command. I think that's our best bet. Can also primal command now to find Thrag Tusk. That's pretty good too. Because I feel like I can lose, but. Kind of tempted to go for the Thrag Tusk play. Alright, so I play Polycranos, leave back Elves. If he has a removal spell, I chump. Then I primal command. That's... Hmm. Let's Polycranos. Because if this Polycranos survives, he's going to be in a bad place. Um, I think we just, I can't even use elves reliably anymore, so I think we're just going to go damage prevention. Take two. Primal Command next turn, gaining seven, finding Thrag Tusk. I can also deal two damage to something. How much, is this a, it's a one one. Um, I think we go for the Thrag Tusk play here. So we gain seven, search for Thrag Tusk. And that's a pretty big rebuild. He was debating it because he's going to be losing life. Current night, yeah, we're in 
We're in excellent shape now. Um, I think we get rid of, uh, I guess, Fauna Shaman. Still want this land because we're building towards Polycranos, blowing up the world. All right, let's get in with Polycranos. Probably just chumps. Maybe he doesn't because he wants to crack back, but we've got Drag Tusk, so I don't know what he's going to do about that. Now we can monstrosity and kill both his guys. I think, right? No, I guess we're still a land short of doing that. He did remarkably good on Omulda 5. You really should be doing Nizumi during my upkeep. Because during my draw step gives me more options. But now uh, we just ditch the E-Witness. Play the Swamp. Monstrosity for three. It's damn near lethal. Yeah. All right. Got there. So we ended up going 2-1. Very good. Very good. Uh, like I said, that guy mulled a 5 and had an explosive start. So I think this guy's deck is still very powerful. We uh, were able to stabilize, thankfully, due to Primal Command and Thrag Tusk. Otherwise, we would have been very dead, uh, even on his mulled a 5. So, all right. I'm satisfied. We ended the cube with 2-1. I'll take that. I'll accept it. And I think we're going to go back to Cons of Tarkir drafts. So we'll see you guys then.